okay in this video lecture we will discuss the model rate of substitution its meaning and its derivation and we would clear whether the marginal rate of substitution depends upon the functional form of the utility function or not so let us discuss it we assume that utility is, is the function of the vector of xi commodities so this x is a vector right and this is the vector of these commodities x1 x2 x3 up to xk so to represents all these commodities in vector form this is the notation this utility is the function of x or uh, you can call it utility is the function of xi where i takes value from 1 to k x1 x2 x3 up to xk okay for the sake of simplicity we assume that there are two commodities xi and xj now why did we assume that we assume that because we want to discuss the marginal rate of substitution in the marginal rate of substitution if we want to increase the units of one commodity we have to forego certain units of the other commodities because there is always trade up in the units of the two commodities that is xi and xj so if we want to increase the units of commodity xi we have to sacrifice certain units of xj all right now how would we uh, derive the marginal rate of substitution to derive the marginal rate of substitution we would use the definition of the indifference curve and we assume that suppose utility is the function of xi and xj suppose the two commodities and then difference curve r x i and x j okay now as we know that even if you are interchanging the units of x i and x j along the same indifference curve utility remains constant okay so we would use this definition of indifference curve suppose we want to change we want to increase the units of x i for which we have to decrease the units of xj okay how do we uh, analyze it we would use the mathematical tool that is the total differential of the utility function suppose utility is the function of xi and xj right and we take the total differential of the utility function so the total utility is actually change in the utility right so this is differential of utility which means change in the utility okay when we want to change the units of x we would take the derivative of the utility function with respect to xi and we multiply the differential of xi this is the partial derivative of the utility function which shows the marginal utility marginal utility of commodity xi and this is the change in the units of xi this differential of xi is what this is the change in the units of xi similarly this is the marginal utility of xj and this is the change in the units of xj now when we take the total differential we take the partial derivative time change in the unit of xi plus partial derivative of the utility function with respect to X, xj time units of xj change so if you have increased the units of xi it means that you have decreased the units of xj but you know that along the same indifference curve utility must be constant so change in utility it must equal to zero that's why we put the this entire equation equal to zero because along the same indifference curve there is no increase in the utility though you have changed the units of xi and xj but the utility should remain constant that's why along the same indifference curve change in the utility is zero that's why we put it equal to zero and if we solve it if we solve it for uh the marginal rate of substitution what we do is we uh shift 
this term to the to the right hand side so it will become negative right and now if we divide both sides by this term this derivative right and uh, sorry this derivative this derivative and dxj so this is the yani, marginal utility of xi and differential of xj to marginal utility of xi and differential of xj marginal utility of xi and differential of xj so this marginal utility cancel out with this and this differential of xj is cancel out differential of xj so what we are left with is this is the change in the utility change in the units of xi relative to change in the uh, units of xj this this uh, side actually tells us about the trade off if you have increased the units of xi you must have decreased the units of xj and on the right hand side this is the derivative of utility function with respect to xj divided by the change in total utility with respect to xi so this is equal to marginal utility of xj and this is marginal utility of xi so this is the marginal rate of substitution which is equal to the negative sign means that there is inverse relationship between uh, there is trade up between the units of xi and the units of xj now the second point is uh, does the do, does this formula has any link with the functional form of the uh, utility function which we have chosen to analyze the consumer preferences the answer is no it does not depends upon the functional form of the utility uh, of the utility function it is independent of whether you are using a cobb douglas utility function or you are using some log linear or linear or whatever it is it has no link with the this derivation it it will be as it is okay to prove this we can uh, we can do some transformation of the utility function we can do some monotonic transformation of the utility function suppose utility v v is a transformation of the utility function utility depends upon x right and v depends upon utility so if we do a transformation and monotonic transformation of the utility function so there will be an indirect relationship between the v and x because u depends upon x but v depends upon u so we indirectly depends upon what depends upon x all right so if we take if we take the derivative of this this function this monotonic transformation of the utility function so we will use chain rule because change in v would occur when u changes and u will change only when xi changes so the story starts from here x xi changes the utility and this utility changes the v in the same way you can see if xj changes it changes the total utility and when the total utility changes it changes the v v is actually the transformation of the utility function so this is the derivative of v with this with respect to u and this is also the derivative of u with respect to v with respect to u so this is v prime of u and this also v prime of u both these are cancel out and you are left with the same marginal rate of substitution which is the ratio of the marginal utility so it has been proven that marginal rate of substitution is independent of the functional form of the utility function that you have chosen for the analysis of the consumer behavior Thank you thanks for watching